one of the most heartfelt gestures coming from Tupac's real father, Billy Garland, to Tupac's stepfather, Matulu Shakur, before his death. Let's get into some of this straight game. It's not what you dealt, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at the brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter Straight Game TV, thank you for tuning in I appreciate your time uh, Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button notification uh, Also subscribe to the channel if you have not already And uh, like I always say If you want to be one of the first people notified When I drop some of this Straight Game uh, Please do me a favor and hit what appears to be that little bell notification. Just click on it uh, right below this video. I'm going to get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, um, one of the most heartfelt uh, things that I've seen a man do in recent years, right? And first off, I want to um, start this video off by saying, uh, Matulu Shakur, may you rest in peace. Um Thank you for your, your fight and the struggle. Thank you for um, standing on the front lines when people really didn't know what the front lines uh, were uh, as far as the Black Panthers, the food programs, all of the things that you guys tried to do um, to uh, uplift the community. I want to you know give that shout out to Matulu Shakur and all of the time that he did in prison, you know what I mean, uh, for something that he never... Uh, from my knowledge, ever confessed to from that perspective. Um, and so, but I wanted to get into this because, you know, as we know, to, to, um, Atulu Shakur being Tupac's a stepfather. And um, we know that Billy Garland is Tupac's real father. And up until recently, most people didn't know that Tupac's real father, Billy Garland, was even a Black Panther. Right. So that was new information that we had brought, you know, uh, to the interview that I did on the Art of Dialogue uh, uh, with Billy Garland. And but m more importantly, um, as we were talking, one of the questions that came up um, in the end of the interview. Right. What, which I thought was very important. The question that I'd asked him in regards to um, in regards to um, Matulu Shakur. And him being just released from prison at that particular time, right? Uh, Mr. Garland said something that was very important. And, you know, we know with the situation or know partially of the situation that happened between uh, Billy Garland and, and Afeni Shakur. And uh, through Mr. Garland explaining it in the interview and the feelings that Afeni Shakur had uh in regards to the situation in regards to Billy Garland, you know, calling him a sperm donor and all of these other names and things like that. But it wasn't until I conducted this interview with Mr. Garland that we got the other side of the story. And from what I gained from that was, you know, and doing this, the recent interview with uh, 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 William Lee Sane is that, you know, depending on your relationship with the Phoenix Shakur at that particular time, you know, Lysane came from uh, uh, William Lysane's side of the family. Crooks came from um, uh, uh, a female friend that, that Afeni had, who uh, that's why she gave Tupac uh, the, na the name uh, Paris Lysane Crooks, right? Instead of naming uh, Tupac after Billy Garland, in which... Afeni Shakur, um, from Billy Garland's uh, uh, point of view, knew that Billy Garland was Tupac's father all along. This is what he basically said in the interview. And so, with that being said, what I found that was so uplifting and so on point and so humbling and, and man-like, right, was the fact that when I asked uh, Billy Garland about Matulu Shakur, Billy Garland said this. Matu Lucia Core, just released from prison, 30 some odd years. What are your thoughts? I'm glad. 
but they released him because he's sick. I heard very sick. I, I wish the brother no it will. I just heard he's sick. That's why. That's what they do. Yeah. They don't be responsible for your death. But but you overall I'm have nothing but him. love and good oh, feelings. I'm glad he got Absolutely. out of that yeah. fucking hellhole. Yes, sir. You, I'm glad he got out that hellhole. He's a good brother, and he was there for my son when I was. So I respect him and I love him. Powerful, very powerful, and very controversial in some circles, if you will. So when you deal with that, a lot of times, you know, as 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 men, you know, when you uh, when the other guy gets with the woman, you know, there's this thing that ha there's this demonizing that has to happen in order to make the other guy, you know, some kind of a villain. Somebody has to play the villain. Right. Um, Billy Garland said he would like to thank him because he was there for my son when I wasn't. Very important. <coughs> Very important. And so I think for us as a community, right, we need to start taking a look at how we view things. And I would hope that Matulu Shakur, very important. I would hope that Matulu Shakur uh, got an opportunity to see that. I don't know if he did or not, but I would hope that before he passed, that he got an opportunity to see uh, Billy Garland say that to him. Because I think that was um, a very important thing to say in regards to who Tupac Shakur was to both of those guys. And I think everything that was supposed to happen happened in exactly the way it was supposed to happen. You know, um, and you can't change that because that's life. That's, you know, how it was supposed to go down. You know, a, a lot of people, like I said, I know a lot of people, you know, they, when we did the interview initially with um, Billy Garland, people came out, they, you know, had their own little personal point of views and they knew nothing about Mr. Garland. Most people thought that Mr. Garland was dead because that's what Google told them. But we also proved that that was not true. But more importantly, the fact that Billy Garland would thank Matulu Shakur for being there for Tupac during the time that he wasn't is one of the most powerful things that I think I've heard all this year from a man to another man in regards to uh, a child, right? And so by that being what that is, I say that, I, I make this video to say that, hey, you know what? We need to take a look at what we doing and, and you know, that just goes to show that the old saying, you know, reigns true. It takes a village to raise a child. You know what I mean? Even though Matulu had went to jail and so on and so forth. Um, yeah. You know, I think that was very, very powerful. So I take my hat off to Mr. Garland. I take my hat off uh, uh, and rest in peace to Matulu Shakur and rest in peace to Tupac Shakur. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think most people really caught that. Some people did, but but like I said, I wanted to bring it, you know, to the forefront in regards to uh, me speaking on it because I had did the interview. And like I said, if you want to see the full interview, you can go over there on the Art of Dialogue and check that out. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that key point that hit me as we were doing the video because that wasn't one of the questions I really even had to ask him from that perspective. Um, it kind of was a question that was actually... Um, it kind of brought up itself, you know what I mean, if you will. Uh, so, or, or was inspired by the conversation that we were having. Your boy Delray, straight game.